Welcome back to the Midday Reset. My name is Antoinette, and today I want to talk to you about permission. I came up with the idea that I wanted to cover this because I recently got to connect with one of my listeners. We had a great conversation recently, and she told me that a previous episode of the Midday Reset had inspired her to create boundaries in her relationship with someone else, and she felt I had given her permission to honor herself first and foremost, which was so amazing to hear. I love getting feedback like that from people who listen to the show, so if you have feedback, please be sure to send it to me. I was also a little bit taken aback when she used the word permission because in my eyes as an adult, she is all the permission that she needs to do anything. I think we all kind of think that on the surface about adulthood. Adulthood means no more having to ask mom and dad if we can do stuff. But after we spoke and I thought about it some more, I realized that I totally understand what she's saying. Even when we reach age 18, we often still look for the signs of approval that show that we are on the right track and doing what we should. And I think this is very normal. Even the most rebellious daredevil has someone they look to for approval, even if it's just within the rest of the rebellious daredevil community that they want to be accepted by. I think we all, in some form or fashion, have entities we regard as the authority over parts of our lives. And we might feel like we need to appease these entities in order to be met with approval. We view that approval as something we need in order to continue forward. First, I want to say that you shouldn't feel bad if you're someone who thinks this way, and it's usually when they want to break from the norm that they've been taught that the need for permission becomes evident. So if your fourth grade English teacher taught you that you can't start a sentence with the word and and handed out strict punishments for people doing so, you will be indoctrinated into the school of thought that you can't ever start a sentence with the word and, and anyone you see doing that, you might school them in how it's a bad practice. When in reality, the field has changed, writing rules have changed, people start sentences with the word and all the time, and if they didn't, we wouldn't have some pretty notable works from the likes of Jane Austen or J.R.R. Tolkien. Their success proves that you don't have to follow silly rules to be considered good. And in recognizing that fact, it gives other writers permission to make choices like these in their own writing. A more common occurrence might be in trying to establish your own way of living that is separate from how your parents raised you and encouraged you to build a life for yourself. When we become adults and are making our own decisions, we often have to draw new boundaries for ourselves with our parents to show them how we'd like to be treated. This is not a forceful, angry act, but rather one of individuality and growth. And your parents will get the message eventually, but until the message becomes clear, you have to hold on to your boundaries and stand in your truth by acting the part and sticking to your script. This will signal to them and anybody else around you how they should act. All this is to say that if you are being held back in some part of your life because you feel you need permission to proceed forward, I think you should start with asking yourself why you think you need this approval. Is it because this is just how it's always been and so you look for mom or dad's or your previous teacher's or your coach's approval because their teaching shaped your perception about what you are doing or are about to do? There's nothing wrong with that, but keep in mind that their guidance came to you at a time when you were likely younger and a little more ignorant about a subject. You didn't know as much and you needed guidance and they gave it to you. But where are you at now? Have you grown past the need for such guidance because you can make your own decisions? If you're answering yes to that, then there's your permission. Now, permission is one thing, but the courage to act is another. If you are also seeking courage, I want to tell you that the only way you can really be a failure at anything is to completely quit or give up. So if you're considering something new, I want to encourage you by telling you that even if it doesn't work out like you want, you will never be able to know that if you don't act. Take the step, even if you can't see the ground. From there, you will be able to make the determination of whether or not something is right for you. But you have to step out first. Some of the greatest victories I've realized in my life came after I did that. I believe it's one of those ways that the universe shows up and has our backs no matter what. Remember, the universe, however you want to conceptualize that, so this is God or any other higher power that you want to believe in, whatever your regard for it, it wants you to succeed. It is not working against you. You just have to throw intention at the right things in order to take steps forward and unlock what's waiting for you. Let me know what you think about this by writing to me on Instagram at The Midday Reset 
or you can email me at themdrpodcast at gmail.com. If you want to show your love for the Midday Reset, check out our merchandise, also available through the link on our Instagram. If you pick up some stuff, be sure to tag me in your photos so I can give you a like. And please continue sharing the Midday Reset with others around you. I really appreciate it. Take care, my friends, and I will see you next time. Thank you.